gonna be difficult for you to forget me, though. What up? What up? <laughs> What's up, what's up, Lynn Shay C family? As you can see, we back again. Um, this really just gonna be a short little vlog. Yeah, kinda. Um, cause right now I'm doing like some film. I just finished a well right now uploading the vlog to do every Sunday at 12 p.m. Y'all stay tuned. Um just to give y'all a little update on everything. Everything has been going good. Your girl has a new job. I know at one point y'all knew I was working at Amazon and stuff like that. If y'all didn't know, now you know. Um, I still dance here and there. I haven't put my pole up. I have. Still haven't did this. And I got some more packages. Um via mailbox so i really need to do my stuff i'm gonna do that next week for real for real um yeah let me introduce y'all to my new family everybody that knows me knows that i absolutely love animals to the team like like who don't love animals so let me introduce y'all to my mini wolf pack athena thing thing bolt come here baby Blazer, blazer. <laughs> so these are my mini wolf pack, my three dogs. Um, Bolt is the youngest, which is the all white one. He is Siberian Husky. Um, blazer is, where you at baby? He's very Speak. Good boy. Um, I've still been working on training when it comes to him because he's still in his puppy phase. Um, other than that, I love my little wolf pack. Just a little rant. Um, today was kind of pr really productive so far. I milled off some stuff because I do have my own businesses. I'm trying to get into other streams of income and stuff like that. I do have a list of streams of income that I want to try. So one of them I already actually started. I already started my Amazon seller. Um, I will start getting into digital products because it's really easy. Like you don't have to do anything. You just basically let it sell yourself. Macari or Poshmark because I have several items I do not use at this moment or in general. Um, I'm going to resell it. Of course, influencer stuff, social media, TikTok and stuff. That's what I already do. I've been looking into real estate. My parents have real estate properties uncle just so much hair company because y'all know i i love hair so why not sell my own um pole one-on-one -on -one classes everybody know that i'm a dancer working out training um that's just a if extra and stuff like that because i do work out uh, most people know i have only fans stock i am into stock and stuff of that sort my dad taught me that accounts far as bank accounts is um savings account roth r i r a's um just different sorts of accounts and stuff of that nature most people to be honest this is like a vlog but a rant um because i would like for a lot of people to actually know different streams of income because it's not common like it's not common in my race for people to know about different streams of income like that like from talking to different people my age or younger or even sometimes older um everybody's not aware everybody's not aware there's different streams of income that you can do and literally sit at the house and make what you make at a job or like a basic job let me say a basic job um or a factory job just jobs in general depending on how much they pay you um so i just want to educate people when it comes to stuff like that i'm gonna start doing some rants and chants on that um here and there because i'm also learning myself it took me a while don't get me wrong like which is so crazy like my dad been telling me stuff like this been saying make your own app do your own stuff this and that with the woo and all that and i didn't listen it took me a while i listen now but um 
Yeah, because who don't like passive residual income? Like, I don't have to do much and it just sells on its own. Or my money is making me money, you know. That's uh, one thing I was looking at when it comes to, like, certain bank accounts. Like, I have a savings account and just my money sitting there at my Marcus Goldman account, it makes me money. Um, just like different other accounts, like a Ali, like a Roth, IRA Ali, which is a high yield um, account and stuff. My money is going to make money from sitting there. Just like certain stocks, if I purchase certain stocks, like literally it can be everyday stuff. When I say Apple, Amazon, Walmart, things of that sort. Um, me purchasing it because I know stuff like that when stuff split because I'm, I'm not a big baller. I can't buy that stuff when it's at high end. So when stuff usually split, that's when I invest in the stock and my dad tell me and we come like have a conversation about it and stuff like that and we usually I purchase the stock when it's split. Um, and then of course 9 times 10, most people know like when it comes to certain stock that I just named, it goes back up tremendously. So at that point, guess what? Me having some of that stock, I own it and I make money from it. And if I wanna buy, sell, trade, anything of that sort, I can make money from it. Like, so, um, yeah. Just like, what is it? Like, for example, don't get me wrong. Um, nothing wrong with taking stuff to Goodwill or stuff of that sort. But some high-end stuff that I have, um, I'm going to resell it. Like, Macari is a good site. Poshmark is a good site of reselling stuff. Like, I just bought something that I couldn't even use for my dogs. And I resold it on Macari. And it went... It sold just like that. I showed, sold some Jordans that I don't even wear for my friend. And they sold just like that. Like, just different types of stuff that you can resell and make your money back and all that other stuff. Um, affiliate marketing, people to do that and all that other stuff. Amazon seller, I'm just not getting into that. I will keep you guys updated when I actually finish that fully. My designer business, most people know um, I basically sell designer stuff. From shoes, um, jewelry, purses, scarf sets. Um, literally, when I say Jordan's Uggs. Balenciaga, it can be jackets, jumpsuits, all of it, you name it, I can sell it to you. Or I can give it to you for a good price. And one thing about it, because a lot of people be asking if it's legit or not. To be honest, I don't think y'all understand it. So many people nowadays buy off DH Gate, and some of these sellers are the same sellers that make Nike, Jordans, and all that other stuff. So to be honest, I tell people all the time, shop in your price bracket. If you want high-end stuff, I can give you the legit high-end stuff. If you want something similar or duplicates or replica, that's what we call them, um, I can definitely get you that for a low-end price. Still high-end stuff, I can get you for a little bit lower, but it's still going to be around the same price. Like That's why I be telling people. Because some people may be like, oh, I want it real. And I be like, okay. Well, my vendor has real, but it's going to be around the same price that you see on the Gucci website, the Balenciaga website, like the Red Bottoms, all of it, Christian Louis Vuitton, Dior, all of it is it's more than likely going to be around the same price. But if you want replica, one thing about replica, it depends on the vendor and it depends on who's selling it. Um, I have a lot of high end materialistic when it comes to replica and stuff like that. It really just depends. I don't think people realize that because society make it seem like that you have to have high end stuff and all that other stuff. But to me, shop in your tax bracket. To me, I, I really don't matter to me because I know I can put it on regardless. Like, put it on regardless. High end, replica, all that. What's up? Either way, I'm selling, saving money and I'm making money moves. But, um, one of these, what else is it? Of course, the influencer stuff. Everybody knows, like, I'm a mini influencer when it comes to that. Um, Pinterest, they say, is like the top one. I'm trying to get into Pinterest. I'm really, really trying so bad. Um, 
I do the two TikTok, of course, YouTube, of course, I upload every Sunday, keeping it consistent. Facebook Reels, I really have to get into Pinterest and Facebook because those are the most, most two paid. Um, and then real estate. I want to get into real estate um, simply because I want my own house. These apartments, don't get me wrong, I love my apartment. It looks good and all that stuff. I get tired of it. Like, especially when inflation, what I could be paying and rent, I could have a house and a mortgage and I could be paying on that. Like, um, with real estate, basically what I put, I put Airbnbs, flipping houses, um, land, personal housing, and for foreclosed sites. So, with that being said, it's plenty of foreclosed sites and stuff like that. You just have to either go to, like, a courthouse. Some people get a whole list of it. It has land, houses, and stuff that they foreclose and stuff. And usually, they sell it for cheaper. And some people, they do that and they flip houses and stuff of that nature. Um, it really just depends. Like I said, my parents into it, my dad, um, my sister. When I tell you, like, literally almost my whole family has their own businesses when it comes to, like, all of it. It don't even have to be a house. It's just in general, like, so. Um, so, yeah. And then, I'm a, I'm a person. I love houses. Like, I, I literally was looking. I've been looking up, I don't know how many places, um, actually. But I've been looking at a four bedroom, like an actual trailer for me. And I want some land and stuff like that. If I can't get like the house that I want, I do want this trailer because baby, it, it's gorgeous. And um, with that being said, most foreclosed houses or land that I've been looking at is like tourist sites kind of. And I do want to invest and think about building a apartment complex where my old university was that I graduated from because it's only one apartment complex out there like they need to get it together and it's okay because I'll be the one to build another one and I know it'll be good money because there's a whole bunch of students out there and why would you only have one apartment complex like it just don't it's not mathing for me but it's all good because I have so many brain so many ideas of course hair company because y'all see I'm um, y'all see that like don't get me wrong i still want to get like free weeks and all that stuff but i would rather invest in a very very great hair company for myself because i know hair quality like i've been doing this for i don't know how long like hair quality is really really big with me so i basically of course weave customization bundles frontals and closures and then number eight is my pole because it's a lot of people that ask me one-on-one -on -one for tutorials um classes and stuff in that nature that's just another side hustle working out and training um i kind of put that just because people used to ask me all the time when i used to go weight gain and program weight loss meal plans and stuff of that nature 10 of course is everybody if you don't know now you know only fans or my private snap account um it's just the extra income for me like some people look at it real crazy because to me um it's plenty of people out here that have only fans and stuff like that it's literally just an account to me it doesn't even mean anything to me like even in the profession that i'm in like i will say right now my before i got my job my only fans was literally it's still keeping me afloat like fully keeping me afloat right now because i just started my job like i said um as a vet assistant I'm a care technician. So it's just like it's fully keeping me afloat. Like it's it's paying my bills and all that other stuff. So I understand that people be like, oh, that's crazy and stuff like that. Or people judge just because you have an OnlyFans. But do what you gotta do. Cause I know me. When it comes to OnlyFans, that's all I do. It's OnlyFans or private. And people always ask me, Oh, do you link? Do you do this? Whoop do and all that other stuff. And I don't I be like, I don't have a menu. I don't link. I'm not one of those that do all the extra stuff for money. It's just the OnlyFans or private. You either purchase the OnlyFans and that's it. Like, ain't nothing else going on with it. Literally. Ain't no customization videos. Ain't all this. No FaceTimes. No memes. No, none of it. I don't do none of it. No. So, um, 
to be honest y'all really want to know if i really so january when i started my only fans and the thing is if i would have kept the money fully from my only fans like i said i was gonna do i could have paid my car off i could have well not pay my car off but i could have paid cash for my hundo court sport that i wanted and it, it's not um a older hundo cord that i want i want a 2021 i literally could have paid cash by the end of this year i already know for a fact i could have paid by by the end of this year like that's how much money i've made on OnlyFans by just being me um like i said i already told y'all about stocks and the bank accounts so that was just my little vlog for the day um because what else did i do well, I already told y'all about the meal. Y'all see my little hoodlum stay over here going to sleep. They be acting like they cannot get enough of me sometimes. Um, but I'm about to finish. Well, it's almost done because I hear it. But my stuff is downloading. And y'all, please stay tuned for this weekend. Uh, me uploading this video. I have a lot of videos that I'm about to upload to my YouTube and stuff of that nature. Please stay tuned, everybody. Let's say see family. I'm out. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl channel.